so you know just the day at the beach we're currently stuck in the <laughs> sand okay part two of travel vlog is starting off bright and early at 8 a.m we are on our way to a presentation so for those of you this is a little pro tip if you ever plan on visiting florida and you want to save some money and you're going to the parks like universal or disney so there's like these booths where um they basically give you discounted ticket prices but the catch is you have to go to presentations about their timeshares or about their resort it's about like an hour and a half long but the discount is crazy so if we were to go if we were to go to universal and pay for tickets at the gate the price comes out to about 590 the guy said but since we're doing this tour thing the tickets for four people for two adults and two kids comes out to 360 so I mean if you're about saving money then this is for you find them you can find them at the outlets they're pretty much all over the place google them um, but if you're not about saving money then I guess this was useless information for you so that's where we're headed we brought mellow because here's another pro tip if you bring kids you just have to say keep saying no like have it in your mind that you're gonna be saying no to everything and you're not interested in the stuff they're probably gonna push it on you but just stay firm say no 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 I'm good oh you know it's not for me right now and bring a kid preferably a more annoying one that gets irritable and they probably won't want to deal with you anymore so that we brought mellow because we love him so much and hopefully we'll be out of there by noon and another pro tip go early in the morning that way you still have the rest of your day to do whatever it is that you want to do so we're going to the a really early presentation and hopefully we'll be out of there by noon and then we'll carry on with the rest of our day we are back headed to the pool so the, the whatever the sales what's it called the presentation it went fine i mean it went a little over the time expected we were there for like three hours in total but we just you know stuck to our guns and said no they sent like four different people in to try to sell it to us like these people were really trying to sell the shit but my mom just stuck to her guns and i stuck to mine and just like no that was not the right time for us can't afford it got kids and wedding and house and blah 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 so they were pretty good about giving up afterwards um and then we got our free or not free but we got our four tickets to go to universal for like 360 which i told you is the deal so all in all well worth it Let's see go back home. carter tell me which girls you think are cute here there's so many so this week there's actually like a girls volleyball tournament so the pool is like full of freaking girls here so i asked carter which one he says is pretty but he won't tell me so Wait. what's up youtube today i'm gonna be doing uh we're gonna be doing a cannonball but if i fall in the water for 10 minutes then i lose to get to do my cannonball so <laughs> what? what are you saying you ready yeah. let's see it oh that was a good one today we're gonna do a b even better dunk which is the turnaround Let's go! So we came back to downtown Disney. We're in the, we're like doing the other half of it because we didn't finish it last time. We came to the Star Wars store. They have this really cool build your own lightsaber. Look at these two. And Alyssa dressed for the part. She's wearing the Star Wars. <laughs> Action. You gotta shing it out. That's the best part. Put it in and then shing. Oh, that was a bad thing. Yeah, we're in the Marvel store. These guys are building their own gauntlet. Oh my god, this is so cool. Stark Industries. Very cool. Oh, there's a Hulk one, Mello. Which one did you do? Hulk? Oh my god. Mello, look at me.
that I have, the ones I like to sleep in. And then the ones that are up at like eight o'clock in the morning playing video games. So it is a beach day today, guys. We are going to Daytona Beach, which is about an hour from Orlando. So we're just getting ready now, eating breakfast. I packed all the snacks, um, packed lunches. That way we don't have to spend money while we're there because I'm all about serving. You know, ate some chicken salad sandwiches. We're bringing this kale salad, some strawberries, some mangoes, some clementines, bananas, and some chips, and some drinks. On the beach, parked on the beach. <laughs> Trying to set up. This is Chase's first time at the beach. What's all that stuff on your hand, huh? What's that stuff on? Don't touch this. Yeah, don't suck your thumb either. It's gonna be gross. You wanna go in the water with your brothers? Come, let's go. Oh, the water's coming. The water's coming. The water's coming. Here comes the water. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It's okay. Relax. It's okay. It's okay. It's nice. Okay, it's lunchtime. Having our sandwiches. The beach is like not busy at all, guys. It's like so dead. I've never seen it this dead, but that is fine. I don't mind it at all. Waves are nice. The water is nice. It's hot as shit. The water. Oh, that water is so it's okay. Okay. You having fun? Yeah. Let's go check and see what Che is doing. Che is not feeling the water so much. So he's in his little floaty. He looks so pissed. He is not feeling these waves at all. Every time he touches him, he cries. We got our car stuck in the sand. We got our car stuck in the sand. <laughs> Trying to dig it up right now. Oh, that sucks. It's a nice man trying to help us. Give us strategies. Okay, so you know, just a day at the beach, we're currently stuck in the fucking sand. Look, and we've had someone come to help us try to pull it out. Right now, we're trying to back up and then go on this. The sand is so soft, we got stuck like, Vacation, Florida vacation. Look at Jack next. Try this real quick, but it doesn't work. He's got a nice pulley. Okay, this guy's got a rope. He's helping someone else. Oh, we gotta push. Okay, I gotta push. 
they're about to push it. Because their car is pushing it from the back. I mean from the front, sorry, my, my bad guys, my bad. What? Push him from the back now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. No. Now a full conversation about what they're gonna do. So, crisis diverted. Thank God for that lovely uh. American man. Alyssa is like burnt to a <laughs> She's like, I just wanna go home. I just wanna go home. Ah. Fire. We're like so hungry. She's like, I just want to go home. I'm like, okay, fine, Alyssa. But yeah, that was quite uh, the experience. Definitely learn from that. Pro tip now, I hope when you watch this vlog, if you go to a beach, do not drive on soft sand because you will get stuck. But thank God for that gentleman. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was like digging in the sand, like getting right in under there, sand in his hair. I'm there like, oh, dig like this. Like try not to get sand on me. But the sand was so hot. Like it's friggin' thousand degrees outside too. So... That was the workout for the day. We're getting ready to go out. I already like showered and stuff. I didn't wash my hair because I'm just a dirtbag like that and I don't feel like washing it. Anyway, that's not the point. What I wanted to show you guys was my foot. Like, who gets their foot burnt? Like, okay, I don't think I really put sunscreen on, but like, goddamn. Like, ugh. And then I have this red dot right there. What that is, I have no idea. Like, I did not put my sunscreen in a circle, so I'm not quite sure why I have that red dot just right there. Like, can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it. I mean, like, yeah, there. There it is. Right there. You see it? What is that? Why? Why did that even happen? There it is. Look. What the fuck? I tried to put concealer. Like, it didn't work. Like, what is that? Oh, well, I guess I'm just gonna look crazy, like, nothing. So, our visit to America wouldn't be complete without a visit to Steak and Shake! Steak and Shake! She hates me. Anyway, I've never actually sat down and ate here. Usually, we just get it to go. So, this is a new experience. Quite, you know, quite lovely. Guys, this red dot is driving me crazy. <laughs> I can't. And our final touch. Peanut butter milk cake. Oh, oh, oh. It's so thick, I'm not even getting anything. That's why we have a spoon. Mom, you got so tanned. He's trying to be so romantic. Did I? Red dot. <laughs> this is our last pool day yep. until we go home tomorrow. So we gotta use a white leaf. Exactly. So we're like trying to hours. soak up all the warm sun that we can before we go home. But I hear back home it's really hot, so that's that's a plus. At least we're coming home to heat. But it ain't like Florida, you know. We don't got pools at our feet and whatever. So. Gonna enjoy this last day, go to the pool, then chill out. I'm cool. I go jump now. Holding him? Yeah. I'll get on here. Okay. Oh, let's get. Oh, man. Don't tip over. We're back at the Nike clearance store. Carter's getting some shoes. Of course, I'm so tired of shoes. Yo, give this guy a job. Like, come on. Hardest working employee right here. Give him a job, please. Nike, Foot Locker. Hire him. Look at him. Look at you. Sir, can I get a size six, please? A size six. No, sir, that's a size four. This is super picky. Oh, there's no room here. Look, okay. There's no room. Go try on that wall. There's no room. You got a problem solved. 
We just finally freaking finished in that store. I'll, tell, I'll show you guys what we ended up getting. So, Che got a pair of shoes. He's wearing them now, though. These were $15. $15. Actually, I think they were even cheaper. <laughs> Mello got nothing. Kind of salty about that, but whatever. So, he ended up getting the Cortezes. Um, and then he got these, which I really, really like. Hold on. We're doing the Air Max Pluses. This is a nice summer shoe. I was calling Andrew while I was in there, but he didn't pick up his phone, so shit out of luck for him. He doesn't get nothing. Yeah? You want to go swim? You want to swim? Then you don't get no shoes, okay? You want to ignore me? You don't get no shoes. You don't get nothing. Hey, we just had a really fantastic dinner at Outback, and I completely forgot to vlog it. Where's Dad? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's trying to kiss you. Oh. Okay, guys, what's going on? It's like. Oh, shit. It's quarter after 12. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. I was just finished talking to Andrew. Um, I was in the middle of packing when I was talking to him, and now I gotta finish packing. Packed all the Boyd stuff. This is all my shit that I gotta pack. I gotta fold and pack, and I still have stuff in the laundry that's being dried right now that I gotta pack. And I gotta somehow fit all those shoes into my luggage and make sure my luggage is under 50 pounds. Like, this is the worst part about vacation is packing. Can I just show you these fucking dope tees that I got at Uniqlo? Um, yes, all my Street Fighter people know. And if you don't know, then pff, you're too young for me. And then this is the back. So sick. Love it. I got this one for Andrew. And then the back is this. Like, we don't have these in Toronto. And if we do get them in Toronto, I'm going to be pissed. Because, like, the reason I got them is because I didn't think we would get them. But I am in love. This is, like, the literally the only thing I bought. Tomorrow's going to be a long day, but I'm excited to go home. I miss Andrew. Um, and I'm glad that we're going home to warm weather, so. Well, we finally made it home. We're waiting to get our luggage, but I figured I'd close the vlog here because I don't want to vlog anymore today. Um, after this, Andrew hopefully is going to pick us up. Why am I wearing jeans around my neck? Well, my luggage weighed more than 50 pounds, so I had to take some stuff out, and jeans was just one of the heavier objects, so. Yeah, I had to take some jeans and shoes out and put them in my carry-on. But yeah, so anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. This vacation has been amazeball. So good. Sad to be home, but I'm happy I'm gonna see Andrew. So it's like bittersweet almost. Um, can't wait for the next vacation. Take you guys along with me when I go on that, whenever the hell that is. Thanks for watching. As always, love y'all. Thanks for the support. We'll see you in the next vlog. Say bye guys. Peace. Bye.